Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, I got a new toy today and I'm gonna unbox that, which you know I hate doing, but I do always film my unboxings when it's something expensive like this because I wanna make sure I have video proof that I didn't mess it up. So I'm confident that that's not gonna happen, but I am gonna show a little bit of that unboxing and we'll kind of go through that and we'll talk about what's going on. Dun, 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 dun. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. Yes, you guessed it. Or you didn't guess it, but we have the new Sony A7 IV. A7 IV, you say? But wait a minute, didn't you have one of these already? Yes, I do. But here's the method to the monkey's madness. Now, this is just that initial inspection where I want to see that it's got everything that it has not been used, that everything is peachy. Okay, this hasn't been opened. Oh, it's the cable. All right, we got our strap, which I don't ever use. Got the hologram and everything. It has absolutely no scratch marks on it. Doesn't look like it's been used. Little itty bitty useless brick. Onwards to the star of the show. Our brand new A7 IV. No marks on the screen. It articulates. Absolutely no scratches anywhere. Perfect. Nothing going on in there that shouldn't be. All I gotta do is fix her up. Screen protector's on now. I already have batteries charged and I'm gonna put the grip on here. I like to hold it upside down so that gravity takes care of that weight. All right, it's in there. Now, let's see if this bitch turns on. Yes. So what I'm doing is I'm putting on this cotton carrier thingamajigger here. Okay, so that's on there. Now I have the spot to put it on my cotton carrier sling or the, the full vest. And I have the peak design plate on there so that I can put it on any of my tripods. Now, since this 70 to 200 is my newest lens and my newest camera, we're going to And there we have it. All right, so I have but these uh, V90 cards. One is the ProGrade 256 gig, and then I've got a SanDisk 128 gig. I have ordered two, of, two more of these uh, ProGrade 256 cards, simply because of the fact that they were on sale and I want fresh cards. And I had decided not to go with CF Express A card in, in this one slot, not for pictures. I think that's overkill. I don't think that I need to have that. Yeah, it'll take it off faster, but truth be told, this is wicked fast as it is. Okay, kids, there you have it. I just set up my new A7 IV. So that's it for now. Uh, let's go play. All right, so I got everything all set, all the settings. I went through every freaking menu item probably at least three times. And I think I pretty much got it going now. Now, one thing I didn't do with this A7 IV that I have set up for filming, is I didn't really do all that much with it when it came to setting up any of the menus or setting up any settings for the pictures. I just sort of, it was like an afterthought because I bought that A7 IV just for filming. So this one now is going to be kind of a hybrid, but mostly it's for pictures. Now I'm gonna tell you why I ended up getting the A7 IV, the second one, and why I'm going to sell my A7R 3 That A7R 3 is a, is a great camera. Well, it's a good camera. It's not great. It's not great for me. I'll put it to you that way. One of the things that got me going about that that really I didn't like, one, the doors. The doors on it suck. And I forgot that they were like the A7 III's, which sucked. So I definitely like this A7 IV's doors and the way it's all set up and, and how they close nice and tight and they open and they all make sense where everything is. Strike one. Strike two, the bigger thing that bothered me about that, and I didn't realize it was gonna bother me, and that is the articulating screen. The articulating screen on that A7 R3 isn't working for me as far as pictures go. Now, the A7 R4, that's set up for birding. For birding, I'm not gonna be doing any like hip low angle stuff or some weird, you know, Dutch angle shooting or this, that, and the other thing. I'm basically getting the bird in frame 
and I'm taking a picture. So it, it's perfectly fine. And I got used to that and that's the way I liked it. And I was like, I don't need no flippy screen. Well, then when I took the A7R three and we were walking around, say the botanical gardens and I was trying to do low shots, my wife and all that kind of stuff, I couldn't see the screen. And I was like, man, okay, I guess it would be really nice if I had an, you know, like a flippy screen so that I could get that low angle or, or when I was going up high and trying to get shots, it became very obvious that that was the better way to go. So that was strike two. Strike three is basically the file sizes. Now I take hundreds, if not thousands of pictures. That's one of the reasons why I don't take the A7R4 to do my daily stuff. You can't change that 61 megapixels. You're shooting in the full 61 megapixels the entire time. Those files are huge. And that's what had kept me from even wanting to get the A7R4 in the first place. But now for the wildlife stuff, that camera is perfect. So that's not going anywhere unless the A7R5 comes out and it's spectacular, but I digress. But that A7R3, even the 42 megapixels, those file sizes are pretty huge. And I'm not posting those anywhere that requires that. You know, like if I were doing a professional shoot and I needed to have huge file sizes, I just use the A7R4. But for walking around daily and all that kind of stuff, they're just, they're uselessly too big. Every time I post them, whether I do it on Viewbug or Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, I always shrink them down to, to like tiny proportions because they're just too big. The A7 IV has 33 megapixels, not 42 and not 61. And that just is much more agreeable to me. That's what it boils down to. Those are the, the three strikes. And those were big enough for me that I decided that I was just gonna get another A7 IV. I probably would have gotten another A7 IV when I bought the A7R III if it were even remotely available, but you couldn't get them anywhere. I'd also thought about getting an FX3 and using the FX3 as my filming camera, because all I do is film with this thing, and then just taking this A7 IV and turning it into my photography camera. You couldn't really find that anywhere. And there were things about this A7 IV that I really love that aren't on any other camera for Sony. That was enough to bother me. Now, surprise, I bought this camera the other day and it got delivered this morning and I went and picked it up. Before I went and picked it up, I was sitting there flipping through the news and all that kind of stuff and looking at, at YouTube videos of what was coming up today. And I started to see a bunch of creators talking about how, oh, there's a, there's a huge firmware upgrade for the FX3. And everyone was like, oh man, this is great. Now it takes it to professional level like it should have been and da 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 And I started reading through and right off the bat, strike one, two, and three, they did not give it focus breathing compensation. It is an absolute 100% deal killer for me. That is the reason I bought this thing. That's why I changed all my lenses to Sony G Master lenses because they're all capable of working with the a7 IV to, to eliminate the focus breathing compensation or the, the focus breathing with the focus breathing compensation. So that means I think I made a good choice of not buying the FX3. The bottom line is, I got another a7 IV that I'm gonna be using in a hybrid manner, but mostly it's gonna be my daily driver workhorse still picture camera. The a7 R4 will remain my wildlife camera, my, my main birding camera. I have the second a7 IV for filming. Now, obviously you might've noticed that I did not post a video on Tuesday night or Wednesday night, and it's Thursday night now and I'm finally putting something back up. Well, I talked about that on Tuesday when I was driving and I filmed everything and all that kind of stuff. And I got to the hotel that night and realized I forgot my laptop. So I called home, I called my wife and she came upstairs and I had her look to make sure that I didn't like accidentally leave it somewhere and brain fart and not know what the hell was going on. And she's like, nope, it's sitting right here where you said you left it. So I had her pick it up and put it back on the desk and plug it in, you know, I'm like, what was I thinking? And that was it. So I was like, all right, screw it. I'm not going to post. I wasn't going to do a short because I wasn't prepared for that. And I don't want to just put up a shitty short. Those are all going to have meaning. And then I got home yesterday and I was just kind of overwhelmed with the trip because it was, it was pretty nasty up there, like tornado ish nasty. And I just, I don't know. I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to, I'm not going to post again. I don't, I don't feel like I have to post. Again, I talked about that, but I nixed all that footage. I'm not putting that out there. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it this weekend, maybe not. But I, I'm not gonna beat myself up for not posting those two days. Shit happens and that's the way it goes. We'll just continue on going forward and I'm not gonna be too crazy about having to post something every day. No point in blathering on any more than I already have. I realized I'm kind of like, eh, uh, feeling pretty pent up 
today's the last day for the rest of July, that it's not going to rain every day. It literally shows rain in the forecast every single day throughout the end of the month. So that puts a little damper on some of my plans, but it also is going to force me to be a little bit more creative about what I come up with. I, there's a lot of shit going through my head and probably stuff that, that I need to talk about or that I wanted to talk about that I forgot to talk about or that I already talked about and didn't realize it and I deleted it, but who knows? Here, here we are. So anyways, that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.